Welcome everyone! In this tutorial we are going to be creating procedural cities in Houdini. We will be using the curl noise to create a pattern to lay out modular structures. We will also randomize the rotation of the modules and the glazing pattern. So let's jump into Houdini. So let's start by creating a geometry node. And we'll call this procedural city. Inside we're going to create a grid node and we're going to be scattering some points. Let's increase uh, the number of points to better see the grid. And we're going to be using a point bob to use the curl noise. And we're going to be adding the current position of the point and the point pass through the curl noise. And this is what we initially get. Let's decrease the frequency. I like to start at a very low frequency and work my way up. Also like to tone down the roughness. And I think something like this will work. Now we need the points on the plane, so what we're going to do, we're just going to remove the Y value on the position. So we're going to use a vector to float and pass it to a float to vector. And we're just going to be passing the X and C values and the Y is going to stay at zero. So now we have the points on the plane. Also, I would like to use the time to change the amplitude so we can use the timeline to scroll through and get different patterns and results. And since we're moving the timeline, we can generate some velocity attributes that we're, it's going to give us like some random rotations on our points. And to better see this, we can use copy some objects to the points. So without the velocity, they all are pointed to the same direction. But since the points are moving through the timeline, the the velocity now will calculate its movement and it will give us a different rotation for the points. Now for the shape that I want to use, I wanted to use some sort of like container shape. And here we're going to be using the polygon mesh to create some panels. So this is going to be our module. Now if we want the points to be scattered a little bit more, so what we're going to do, we're going to fuse in them to reduce uh, the, the intersection of points. We can use increase the distance, something like 0.1. Or let's increase this even more. Maybe something like this, so there's a, a bit of an intersection here and there. That should be fine. And so our next step is to copy them vertically. What I'm going to do, I'm going to copy points and then use those points to copy the modules. So we're going to use an add node to create a point. And essentially, this is just copying the single point into the our points that we scatter. But here we're going to be using a copy and transform node. 
and together with this we're going to be using a copy stamp to pass an attribute and in the stamps we're going to create a attribute called floors and we're going to use the random function and pass in the point number to create a value from 0 to 1 and we're going to fit this which the value is 0 to 1 and we're going to fit it into 5 to 20 so the minimum floors will be 5 and the maximum 20 now here in the copy we're going to use the stamp we need to pass the node that has our attribute which in this case is copy 2 our variable which is floors and a default value and we need to copy this vertically so let's just put point one and so it's copying each point randomly uh, many times upwards so now we visualize this with our modules this is what we get also, we need to pass the velocity attributes. So on the attributes, we need to check the use template point attributes, and then we'll pass along the rotation. And let's separate them a little bit more. And now what we can do, if we change our timeline, we'll get a different value or a different pattern and we can produce many iterations of this city. Now we also want to rotate some of the, uh, the modules vertically so they're not like, stacked perfectly. So we're going to use a transform node and on our copy stamp So we're going to plug in our points and here we're going to create a value call, an attribute called rotation and we're just going to pass the point number to our random function so we'll get a random value. Now on the rotate y we'll reuse this line of code and just change some parameters. So here we can change to the node that has our parameter or attribute and also change the attribute to rotation. And also we need to multiply this by 30 since, it's since it just gives us a number from 1 to 0. And also let's enable the stamp and it gives us a random rotation for each of the the modules. We can add a number to randomize a seed and it will give us a different result. And we can also change the angle, but this might be too extreme. I just wanted a slight rotation. And this is our result. So in the second part of this tutorial, we're going to be selecting random uh, panels and making them glass.